Hey y'all, it's Jazabelle, and this is a tutorial on how to do arches. You can see in this cathedral that I did quite a few arches. Um, these are all the same shape because I wanted something uniform. But it's really easy to change just a, a few things to get a smoother arch, or you can just go with a nice little pointy topper or something else. So, first thing we need are materials. Um, in this case, I think I'm going to go with the tall dividers of Fancy Fulgonate, but I'm not sure. I need to check my um, my crafted items storage dungeon because I didn't plan ahead and get all my stuff before starting the video. So we're going to pop in to where's my crafted items and we're gonna go grab a whole bunch of materials or we will if I can actually zone into the dungeon because yeah I think we're there we go Any day now. Alright, yeah, it's a mess. This is where I finish projects and then just go dump stuff, so. Actually, I think I dumped most of my building blocks into the guilds. Uh, let's see, I remember dumping a bunch of stuff in this corner. Oh! Alright, so we're gonna go with sumac, because I happen to have a bunch right here. So, one, two, three. For the minimum number of items you need for a good arch is six. I think I just grabbed four, yes. Five, six, we'll grab ten so that we can play with different arch angles. Okay, now let me exit so that we can go find a location to start decorating in. Uh, Oh, we'll use my, we'll use my, uh, let me turn off shadows. I'll use my shadow type. EQ2 likes to randomly turn shadows on for me, and so sometimes I have to use a slash command to turn it off. Um. We're choosing a house to decorate in. Alright, so we will go decorate in build materials. Because it's empty right now. These videos would be a lot shorter if zoning were faster. Um, which probably means I should be filming these not on Jazabel because she has so much junk that it takes her forever to zone, but oh well. Okay, so here we are. And let's drop all of our junk. Oh, my wings. I don't have my wings on. Okay. Why am I doing this by clicking? Why am I not dragging it to the hot bar and doing it this way? Okay, for this, I'm gonna pack it, pack house one, pack everything in the moving crate, um, because I'm going to save a layout, and I'm going to use the layout editor to tell the game where to put the items. File open. Open. You can't see the open window. Just know that I'm opening my with file so you can see the moving crate there. So here's the crate. We're going to pick one of the items. Right click, which you can't see the right click menu. Go to create group. Yes, you can see that. We're going to call this arch one. Say, okay, create. So this is arch one. And I'm going to set this at zero. 100, 
zero because this way you can easily see the numbers and know what's going on. And we're going to call this, I don't know what scale. Let's do scale six just so we can see what it looks like nice and big. Save that as working. Loaded in game and there should be, aha! There is a randomly floating divider up here. So that's step one. Step two is to decide how wide you want your arch to be. So what I usually do is I go back to layout editor, I right click, which you can't see, I click duplicate, and suddenly we have two items right here. Now, back in the game, if we look at our handy dandy compass here, we can see that um, the short side of the divider right here, the width goes east-west and the length goes north-south. So we want the length of the neck, we want to put the, the two dividers next to each other so we know that in this case we're going to move the next divider south. Now the length of a tall divider is two times its scale so that means we have to move the new building block 12 units to the south because the entire length is two times its scale like I just said. So we'll type in 12 in the move amount and we will click the south button once. Save the group. Load working. Now we have perfectly aligned dividers. Of course that's not actually what we want. We need to make a space for a window or a door or arch, you know, just, just whatever it is. So in this case we decide the minimum space that a character can fit through is two units. So let's say I want to make a doorway and I want it to be two units wide. Well, we'll just send our new one two more units to the south so that there's now a gap of two units between the two. Yay! Nice little narrow thing. That doesn't look very much like an arch though, does it? Sorry, pause while I answer a tell. Okay, so we have these two, let's call these west, no that's not west, it's north, north side and south side, oops, not tab. Okay, so we have those, um, but it's not archy, it's just two straight things. So we're going to go back to Layout Editor, select them both, and click Duplicate. Sort by notes so that the new Added by Create items are there. Now this is the part I can never remember. Do I want to use Pitch or Roll? So I'm going to turn on Decorator Mode, and I'm going to try using Pitch. Nope. Pitch is great, or this is Roll, sorry. Roll is great on, with dividers if you're working on a ceiling. So like if I want an arch ceiling, I would move uh, 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 roll, but I actually want um, a doorway. So we know that pitch is what we need to do. So let's go with our northern uh, arch, so to speak. And we know this is the northern one because it has the same number values as the north side one. So, set at zero, ah, that's right, so pitch, when it's something is set at a zero rotation, pitch sends it either angling to the north or to the south. So it's all of, all of its east-west points stay the same, but the north and south kind of move. So, let's see. That didn't make sense, actually. I, I know what I meant in my head, but what I actually said was completely wrong, so ignore that. Anyway, so in order to get it to move to the south, we should need a positive angle because things that are in the south are positive. Let's give this a try, find out if I'm wrong. 
So the first thing we want is a 30 degree angle. Go back to the game, load it. I was right to get it to move more to the south. It's a positive angle. So that's that way. So then we know that the other one should be negative 30 because we want it to go in the opposite direction. Load working. And now we have a nice little V between the two, only it's way down here. That doesn't help us. So the top of it is sort of at the bottom of there. So let's do four units. Let's move it four units up in the air. My thing is already two, so let's do up twice because 2 plus 2 is 4, load working, uh, that's, that's a, not bad, but it's a little bit low, so let's do another 2 units just because we want a nice tall doorway. This part you can tweak later, uh, oh, that's a little too tall, let's go down 1, alright, so, there we go, that's good enough. So. This is kind of a, a nice little pointy thing here, but that's not really what we're going for. We're going for more of an arch. So let's go back into the layout editor and we're going to name these. I should have named them to begin with. This is South Arch 1. And this is North Arch 1. Alright, so let's duplicate these two. And we're going to make negative 30 into negative 60. And we're going to make 30 into 60. So that should make them uh, uh, pitch even further towards each other, which will smooth out the curve even further. So this is, once again, it's too far down. So let's go up. Let's bring them up three units. One, two, three. Is that going to be too much? It might be. Yes, I do. Yep just a little too much. Let's bring it down 0.5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And still not quite there. Down two more. You could actually use math to do this part, but um, honestly, I just fake it, so to speak. So that doesn't look too bad. Let's try down one more just to see if it makes the, the arch even smoother. Yeah, no. I liked the other shape better. Alright, let's go back up one. There we go. Okay, so there's our arch. That's exactly what I did for the cathedral. I just used a bunch of different items, uh, blocks in some cases, narrow dividers in others, and in only one case I think I used the, uh, the tall dividers. So that's, that's nice. We have a nice arched doorway. It's perfectly arched. Now the problem is that look at all that shimmer. That's enough to cause seizures if you, uh, if you suffer from seizures. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go find the first set of our arch, the one that did this, which was our 30 degrees, because it's not angled as far towards the horizontal. So 30 degrees. Here we are, and let's just scale this down to 5.99, 5.99, save group, load working, and boom, a whole bunch of it goes away. Now we still have some stuff going on here, so let's go back and scale the other bits of the arch to 5.98 5.98 save group, load working and oh dear there's still some stuff going on um, what I actually normally do is I leave it just like this and then I put another divider to hide all that shimmering stuff right there. So we'll go back here. We'll find one of our north side or south side. Let's go with the uh, north side. I'm going to duplicate it. And that was this one right here because it doesn't have an angle. I forgot to rename the other ones. So we remember we want it to be 
we want the center of um, this one to be right over the center of the arch. So instead of moving it 12 units, we're going to move it 6 so that it's halfway. And I know that's not where I'm supposed to move it, but I'm just showing you what's going on. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, that, that's awesome. So I put 6 into the move amount, and then I didn't actually move it. So now we will move it to 6. And we will show you that one side is larger than the other because our center is just right where my mouse is. It's not actually in the center of the doorway. But we know our doorway is two units wide, so half of that is one. So we will change the six to a one, send itself one more, load it. So now it's perfectly centered. And then now we need to raise it up so that it's high enough. So we know one, two, three, four, I think five might be, well, five is a little too much. So let's pull it down by about 0.5, one, two, three, four, five. Is that working? Ooh, almost there, almost there. See, just a little bit still showing. So let's go down one more. Go back, load working. Ah, that was a little too much. 0.01, one, two, three, four, five. Go back to the game, load working. And almost, there's still just the tiny little triangle, 0.01 down, back to the game, load working, and that's pretty much perfect. If I were really, 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 really wanting it to be perfect, I would start moving it down by 0.001 in increments of 0.005, but um, this is a tutorial, not a, a build that I'm planning on putting on leaderboard so no we're not going to do that now once again we have a problem with the shimmer here so let's go to our center one and we will do 5.998 so it's bigger than 5.99 but it is smaller than 6 and there oh nope that works as long as you're not too far away and too far away means anything more than a couple of units apparently alright so we're gonna change this to 5.99 we're gonna change this to 5.98 5.98 we're gonna change this to 5.97 and there we go Okay, yeah, you can't get too far away. But honestly, look how far away my character is from it before I start seeing that. Now, if that's a problem, if you don't want it that shimmery, um, you could, of course, change the scale even more between them. So, like, we could do 5.95, 5.95. Five. Actually, I wanted this one to be 5.95, and that one to be 5.94. And technically, no, that's that's right. I have to do a 5.93 and 5.93. And unfortunately, I changed the shape of the arch, so I have to raise up my uh, my center bit here, but from any normal distance because you really wouldn't be this far away from your build unless it's like the outside of your build. So look at that. Look how far away I am. Okay, so that's arch number one. Yay, arch number one. We could always... Now if you wanted an arch with a, a flat top here, I put nine five. Let's go down one two three four five, just so you can see what it looks like when you're doing it sort of deliberately. Uh, not quite there. One two three. Load working. So that's not bad. 
if I were doing that, I would actually lower this part, these three, so that this this part isn't as long, so that it's, it's a more even curve all the way over. But um, I'm not actually going to take that time because the tutorial, not me building something. Well, it is me building something. It's me building the tutorial. Okay, so let's send all of these to the moving crate so that uh, the only one still out is our one at 0, 100, 0. Load working. So now we're back with our just one item here. And let's remove all of the rest of the items from the group. So I select them all, I right click, and I click remove from group. Okay, so now our north side one is still here. I could have left our south side one too. So that was uh, a total of thir 14 units to the south because 2 plus 12 is 14. Yay, I can do math. Woo! Okay, so this is south side. And then we want arches. Now we want a smoother arch. So last one it was 30 degrees between each angle. This time let's go with 20 degrees. So we will duplicate these. And as I said before, um, if you want it to angle to the south and it's at a zero rotation, you will have a positive angle in your pitch. So in this case, we want 20. And that means this one's negative 20 because we're going in the opposite direction. Save group. Load working. Bam. Look at that. There's our 20s. So let's go up. Uh, by twos, one, two. That's four, if you were wondering. Up four. A little high, but let's just leave it for now because we're just building an arch. Okay, so these are, uh, this is north arch one, north, uh, south arch one. So we'll duplicate these, if I can actually copy and duplicate. So now we know that the negative should be even more negative to make it a little, a little flatter. So this will be negative 40, and this will be positive 40. And let's try going up. Well, let's try loading it first just so we can see what happens. Load it. Yeah, we need it to go up. Uh, let's try. If we did it just one, that's about this distance. So let's try 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 up. Save. Go. Load working. Ah, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So this is actually south arch 2 and this is north arch 2. Alright, so we're going to select these, say duplicate, sort by notes because we want the added by create stuff. And oops, we don't need to highlight it. We want this to be 60 and this to be negative 60 because we are adding or subtracting 20 as the case may be. Save group, go into the game, load working, and once again, we want it up, I'd, I'd say up two. Let's try up two. Go to the game, load it. Oh, that was too high. I guess 1.5 should have been what we did. So one, two, three, four, five down. Load it. Up. Oh, that was too much. Let's go up two. And I just discovered that the distances between them are um, too much. So, this is north arch 3 and south arch 3. So we want to sort by notes, select everything, and then we want to unselect the north side and the south side because we don't want to move those. Oops, and we also don't want to move we don't want to move this first section here. I am sorry. Let me... Darn it. Ignore that. 
Because I certainly am. Okay. Um, so we don't want this first section moving. We want to leave it where it is because we want to move these two sections down so that it shortens that. So that is South Arch 1. That's the layout editor, South Arch 1. We will uncheck, un, un, unclick, and I'm doing that by holding down Control and then clicking, and then North Arch 1. Hold down Control and click. Okay, so let's go down Point two, go back to the game, load it. That's good. All right. Now we will go back to the editor and we will unclick North Arch 2 and South Arch 2 because that's the area right above and we want to shorten that. So we will say down one, two, three. And by three, I really mean point three. Uh, that's a little too low. All right, we'll go up, up point one. There. Sort of even. If if I were actually doing this in a house, I would, you know, calculate it pretty carefully, but I'm not, so. Alright, back here we go. We want to select 60 and negative 60. And then we want to right click and say duplicate. Sort by notes. So we have these two. So 60 should be 80. And negative 60 should be negative 80. Save it, go back to the game, load it, and that's all the way down there. That's not helpful. We want it to go up. Uh, let's try two units. So yeah, everyone who thought that I did lots of math for the arches know um, I could, but I actually, in this case, I prefer um, to, to guesstimate. So that was up too high, so let's try down two. Go back to the game, load it. And there you go. Looking pretty good. Now for this art and for this style arch, you probably want a flat bit on the top. Um, so back to the editor and we still need that one flat bit to hide everything so we're going to say duplicate north side where it is north side oh wait this is north arch four and south arch four okay that's great north side here we are right click duplicate uh oh I did not bring enough dividers for this. So normally, I would stick a straight divider along the top because it looks a little funny with that that uh, slight point right there. Uh, but since I didn't plan ahead properly, we are going to um, not do that. So let's see. Arch point one, 5.99. Arch point two, 5.98. Arch point three. 5.97, arch point 4, 5.96. Let's do that again. 1, 5.99, 2, 5.98, 3, 5.974, 5.96. Save group, load working. And as you can see, it's not perfect but it does hide most of that shimmer effect um, as long as you're a normal distance away from this because I'm flying and I'm trying to get a view of everything I actually wind up further than I should be so yeah that's actually a, a pretty nice arched doorway all things considered and you just basically do the same thing for any sort of arch you want to do if you want to do an arch here let me take you to uh, that's not helpful. Alright. So like if you wanted to do an arch um, for a wall, like in, in a thick wall, not just a doorway like that, you know, you might use um, the, the, uh, the, the blocks, the full, you know, the square blocks, 
or you might even use half blocks depending on what style of art you want to do. Uh, my houses, the Cathedral of Our Lady, enter. So let me run around and talk while we're while I'm doing this. Let me close that because you don't actually need to see that anymore. So here we are. As you can, whoop! There's somebody here. <laughs> Hi, Gildy. Okay. So here. You can see that I used the wall. Um, I used what I did for the the one bit for the walls. And then if you look up here for these arches, in fact, let me go upstairs so we're a little closer. Another arch doorway did the same exact thing. Hey, look, another arch doorway where I did the same thing. And yes, you can see here that it's not quite perfectly lined up um, but it's pretty damn close all things considered you have to get up to the doorway in order to see that um, and really you have you have the option of having perfect alignment or which causes shimmer or you can have imperfect scaling which you know looks like this but at least you don't have the shimmer Okay, so for these arches here, you can see I did the same thing, except for I just used different materials. I used the uh, the blocks so that it turns into this this sort of really thick arch. And guess what? You know this ribbing up here? Same thing. In this case, I did the arch ceiling first, where I used roll instead of pitch, so I got the, so that the whole divider tilted forward a bit, and then each time I changed it. So this is once again, this is a 30 degree angle, and this is a 60 degree angle, and I did the same with the columns here, 30 and 60. Now for this part, this part was a pain in the butt because not only did I have to pitch it, I also had to roll it. So this one no that that's that's not quite as simple but the center rib here and the actual ceiling itself in fact let me no that's not any easier to see I was hoping it might be because it's a little bit closer but no so yeah just it's I mean you as once you know how to do arches you can do so many things with them arches are all a dome is. A dome is just, you know, a, a bunch of arches spun in a circle. So that's really how I did this. For this section, I did one line. Actually, I did one wall. And then I spun it in a circle. And it's really this arch here spun around the center point. So that's how you get a perfect dome, that's how you get a perfect arch. Um, if people want, at some point I can show one of these thicker arches and then, not the thicker arches, sorry, the ceiling arch, and then I'll show you how to make a dome. But for now, I think that's arches, 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 arches. All those arches. That's how I did them all, every single piece. just. Changing the uh, the pitch by 30 degrees in the, for this arch, because um, depending on how depending on how big the distance between the changes you do, your arch will be smoother or or um, um, or or uh, more angled. So this is a 30 degree change. You saw what happened when I did a 20 degree change. It turned into that nice smooth arch. And if you were to do a 10 degree change, you would, you know, the top would practically be totally curved. So it's, of course, it takes correspondingly more items to do that. Um, yeah. I'm, it, I want to say exponentially more items, but that's not actually true. So yeah, it's just 
depending on what you want to, what type of arch you want to have. If you want it to be pointy or if you want it to be smooth, you just have to change the angle that you're setting the numbers to and increase or decrease your item count. I personally went with the 30, 60, and this is technically the 90 degree arch because it only uses six pieces per arch, well seven if you count the upper bit. One, two, three, four, five for the wall, six for the wall, seven for the cover. And if you look around, I really needed to have as much item count uh, saving as possible. So, yeah, because a 45 degree arch would not be an arch, it would just be a pointed doorway. 45, 45, pointed doorway, not really the arch look I was going for. for so this was the uh, lowest number of, or the, wow, I'm having trouble talking. It was best bang for my buck as far as item count versus actual arch shape. So there we go. That is how to build an arch. Hope you learned something useful and enjoy. Happy decorating!